This is Technomancer with Zero Point Fuel, the new test rig. This is the new test rig for the Generator 2.0 project. I have a general purpose motor which you might find on popular little razor scooters they're everywhere you can find them real cheap i've been picking them up for five bucks and pulling the motors on them i bought this off of uh, amazon which is a pwm to drive it it's making a lot of power for about 1.6 amps at 24 volts so that's really comparable to the drive system of the, the large motor. It has a lot of potential and it's easier to work with. This version of the generator, there are other versions. The new system will drive this generator and it will be dumped into a large supercapacitor bank, which is actually almost a negative energy storage system. That large capacity, if any of you have ever taken a capacitor and tried to hook it up to something if it's live you'll get an arc there's no resistance to the storage and when the energy wants to go to the low side that energy immediately jumps to the capacitor that in itself is a resource that we can utilize the point is this can be compared to a well water pump where you have a motor you have a pump which is represented by this and you have a tank which is represented by the super caps this generator right here is uh, made from high carbon steel you would find this in a toroid step up or step down transformer 120 volts at 60 hertz to 240 at 50 hertz this though this project um, is really unique because of the way we're going to be building these new rotors and new cores the electromagnet version uh, this version we can vary the voltage through and increase the magnetic field by using electromagnets when we're using this this type with the uh, steel-backed neodymiums, this thing made 40 volts. This new system with the PWM, this is going to get mounted just like that to run some tests. Now, the way I designed this one originally was so I could expand it uh, with more stators and make it larger if I needed to. But because this thing was making 40 volts, I never went beyond that. I made it in such a way that I can pull this back off right here and... Uh, pull that off and replace this because the way this is designed is this is a strap system right here and this is the the toroid ring and it's wound around the ring and what that does is that pretty much eliminates drag but it creates its own sets of problems now a lot of this is based on the original QEG which used the spinning bar but these designs are using multiple pole magnets, which means that it doesn't need to spin quite, quite as fast as uh, the QEG design. So th this is similar in the way the core, the coils are wound. I, I put a, my unique spin on it though, where these are alternating like these, each one of these winds goes a different direction and you can see the small loops here where it loops to go the opposite direction and based on the amount of poles you have is based on the number of poles you have on your rotor whether it's an electromagnet rotor or uh, a neodymium rotor your core to put out a single phase needs to alternate uh, based on those poles that's in this core in the rotor so I think that's about it for now. I will be releasing some other videos. I've got a couple of these cores uh, ready and I have to test them. So I will be showing you the test. And when I have enough uh, MET glass, I think that's where the big difference is going to be. Now, just in passing, I want to say one other thing here that the bitoroid transformer concept that Thane Hines had has an application in this because you're coming off of this core with a alternating current um, so if you run the alternating current 
to the bitoroid um, seed co uh, coil, the one that generates the energy to start the process, this might really have a completely new application in that uh, concept. But that needs to be made out of matte glass. So I'm re it really comes down to when I get the matte glass and how long it's going to take to build these different devices that need to be tested. So that's where it's at. That's what I've been working on. I'm still here. I'm still working on this as much as I can. And unfortunately, because I have a normal job that requires my time, I, I do it as much as I can. I work on it as much as I possibly can stand to be in the lab. So it's coming. The new designs here. Um, be looking for it. I will be posting uh, in the form uh, a PDF with the dimensions on how to build this. Most of these alternators, at least in the U.S. and automakers, they, they pretty much standardized. So you can find a standard alternator and it'll, it's probably going to work for this application. I have another one sitting over on the bench. The dimensions are the same, even down to the shaft size, uh, the amount of poles. So I can build multiples of these to allow me to try different coil configurations. So for now, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.